Hello besties! It is Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts and it is the 13 days of Halloween. Are you scared? It's also scary, doesn't it? Spider web. Big green spider. Yeah, I'd be a little scared. But not too scared because inside of here is a treat and it's one of my favorite treats and um, it's probably a lot of people's favorite treats and so this is a great way to hide that treat and also give it out to co-workers or even for Halloween if you feel ambitious enough to make a bunch and basically what it is, is like a fat envelope box. And inside is a peanut butter cup. Yum. Yum. So this is what we're going to make today. And it's really easy. And I know I say that like about everything, but this is, we just had like a power flicker. Oh, our power's kind of weird. I don't think it's supposed to rain. Maybe. And of course I was doing laundry, so my laundry's going to like stop or something like that. But anyway we're going to keep going here with our little video. So, actually that's kind of spooky when you're, you're videotaping 13 days of Halloween and the power flickers. Hmm. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use this cool paper. I think it's really cool. Um, one side's purple and one side is decorated. Now, you can use double-sided cardstock, you don't need to, but uh, I have decided to do so. You could use just plain cardstock, and you could stamp on it instead of decorating it with stickers like I did here. It's completely up to you. But you'll need a piece of paper that is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Easy. So you could get four of these out of a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And then you're going to need your good old envelope punch board. I love this thing. One of the greatest even inventions. Inventions ever. Alright, so we are going to do some punching and some scoring. So you are going to need to punch and score at two and a quarter. There's one, two and a quarter. It's showing up. Okay, so there's two and a quarter. So punch, and I apologize that it shakes the um, camera. And then at three inches. That's an easy one. And this is how we get like our envelope box. Okay, so then we rotate, and we're going to do two and a half, or two and a half two and a quarter, which actually lines up with that three inch line we just did, but it's two and a quarter, punch, and score, and then you're going to do three inches, which lines up with that score line right there, I don't know if you can see that or not, if I get up close, and we're going to punch and score, rotate, And then three inches. Okay, and our last side here is two and a quarter. And then the three inches. You know, if you had um, for a school party, this would be great for that. All right, so we can put our scoring tool away. And we are going to round all the corners. You don't have to, but 
I like to. And we don't poke anybody. All right, we're done with our envelope punch board. Get all of our scraps out of the way, and here we go. Maybe you can see better on the other side. See all of our score lines. So I could decide to use this as my outside if I wanted to, but I'm not. So now we're going to fold on all of our score lines, and I'm not using my one folder. You can, but in this instance, it's really not all that important that you get a really crisp fold. And sometimes, you know, when you're using designer paper, if you do a really crisp fold, um, you know, it turns white where that fold is. So, I'm just deciding not to use my bone folder for that. So, now we need to do some cutting because we're basically going to make a box. So, I'm going to flip it over so you can see, hopefully, on my score lines here. I'm just going to cut straight down and make this little tab right here. Right, follow along that one edge and just cut down to that second score line. Got that? And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut on the same score line to that second score line like so. Alright, so you see that? We've got tab here and tabs here. Alright, now if you look at this tab that way, see how it's kind of kind of curves up? For me, ugh, it bugs me. It just bugs me. So I'm just going to cut it straight. I'm just going to cut that little little thing off. And that's just from when you you um, punched it and scoring it. And when you fold this to make your box envelope, I just think it kind of gives it a, a neater look. When you look at the top up here, when these come out, if they're straight, I just think it looks neater than if you have a little <laughs> tail on them. I don't know what you call them. All right, so now we need to put some glue. So this is the outside of my little box thing. And on my two little tabs here, I am going to use my little tearaway tape stuff. I don't know what you call it. I need to figure out what you call it. You want a strong adhesive. And so that's why I've chosen this. Oops. Okay. And then you're going to turn this over. Okay. And here's where our turn this glue glue tabs up. All right. And now I'm going to put tape along this little flap. Okay. And I'm going to just like so. If you wanted to use liquid glue, you could. Um, but then you just got some drying time to worry about. And I would think with hot glue, you know, if you didn't get smushed right and stuff, it, it would it would not be flat. I only mean, want it flat. Okay, so now we're gonna take off our tear away tape pat, uh, backing. Maybe. There we go. And I'm even gonna do it on this side because we're gonna kinda put it all together pretty quick and when we make our little box it's going to be hard to get the tearaway tape off backing off of this flap. Okay, 
So now we're basically going to make a box, right? So here's our tab with our tape on it. So I'm going to flip it over just so you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up and line it up with that edge. Did you see that? So there's that little tab with the glue. And we just kind of making a little envelope box. We're going to do the same on the other side, like so. And there we go. Can you see the inside there? We've got our tabs. And I'm going to take my bone folder this time and I'm going to rub on those just to make sure that we've got a good seal. Alright, and now we need to bring this flap up and glue it down. So, you know, we kind of want a box shape, you know. So you got to kind of, you know, keep your eye on it here. And make it into a box shape. And then once you got it where you want it, just kind of push it down. Take your bone folder and make sure it's sealed really good, like so. And then these fold in, and this part folds in. Oh, and this part folds in, and there you have your little box. That holds one of the best treats ever. But you could, I don't know, find something else to put in there. You could put those little candy bars in there. Some nuggets, candy, whatever you'd like. Or if you've got a crafty friend, you could put some washi tape in there. Just saying, you know. Alright, and then we decorate the outside. And there's, I mean, so many ways you could decorate the outside. Like I said before, you could decorate it with a stamp. You could put little stickers on it. Hmm, which one do you like better? The ghost kind of gets lost. So let's, let's do our, our little bat here. And... Flying. There you go. Look at that. Super cute. Super easy. And that's one of the 13 days of Halloween. I hope you liked it today. And I hope you give it a shot. And if you don't need to use the idea for a Halloween tree, could always like use it for you know another gift like I said you know wash the tape for a favorite crafter um you could fill it with other goodies ribbon that kind of stuff so that's it for today thanks for stopping by um make sure that you check out my Facebook group with my bestie Irina it's called fun life on a budget featuring bestie Becky and check out her YouTube channel, which is Fun Life on a Budget. And it's a fun Facebook group. We do give we do um, giveaways. We do swaps. You get to see you know links to wonderful videos like this. And we're doing the 13 days of Halloween, and so you need to check out my best year is a uh, YouTube channel to see what she's got up her sleeve for the 13 days. So that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Happy crafting and I will see you next time. Bye.